Hi, this is Mr. Lovell with another episode of Math Adds Up. Today we want to talk real quickly about percents. In fact, what we want to talk about is finding the percent of a number without a calculator. When some folks hear without a calculator, their first reaction is to scream in fear. But I'm here to tell you, you don't have to be scared. This is not something that is that difficult. First, we need some benchmarks. We're going to find 10% of a number. We're going to find 5% of a number, 1%, and 1 half percent. If we can find those benchmarks, then we can find any number. And luckily, finding those four benchmarks are not that difficult. Now remember, these videos don't always have all the information. These are just down and dirty, quick little things to help us with our uh, work that we need to do in class. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is that to find 10% of a number simply means to take the decimal point and move it one place to the left. Suppose I want to find 10% of 250. Well, I know the decimal point is at the end of a number. So all I'm going to do is move that decimal point one place to the left. That means that 10% of 250 is 25. Anytime we find 10% of a number, move the decimal point one place to the left. If I can find 10% of a number, I can find 5% of a number. I want to find 5% of 400. First, I think, What's 10% of 400? There's my decimal point. Move it one place to the left. 10% is 40. 5% is half of 10%. So half of 40 is 20. 5% of 400 is 20. To find 5%, find 10% first and take half of it. How about 1% of a number? Well, to find 1% of any number, move the decimal point two places to the left. Suppose I have 450. I take my decimal point, move it one, two places. 1% 1 of 450 is 4.5. If I can find 1% of a number, I can then find half a percent. Suppose I want to find half of a percent of 600. Well, first thing I'm going to do is find 1%. 1% 1 is 6. Half a percent is half of 1%. So half of 6 is 3. Half of a percent of 600 is 3. It's really that simple. Find 10%, move the decimal point one place to the left. Find 1%, move the decimal point two places to the left. To find 5%, take half of 10%. Half a percent, take half of 1%. If I can find those four benchmark percents, then I can find just about anything. But that's the subject of another video. This has been Mr. Lovell with another episode of Math Adds Up.